Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel for another finished kit review. Now I've gone and gotten into something a little bit different as of late. I went online and I discovered Young's Miniatures. And if you've never seen them before, they're incredible one tenth scale busts. I picked up three of them. Today, we're gonna see one of them, the first of the three, and it's called the British Red Devils from World War II. Now that's British Airborne, but the odd thing about this little 110 scale bust is that it really looks like Sean Connery from the film A Bridge Too Far. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I'll let you be the judge, but I'm telling you right now, I'm right. Okay, to start the kit, I put the four or five pieces that came in together, the head and all such binoculars, they'll go on at the end. But I primed everything in flat black, then I blocked in the green on the jacket and the neck scarf, and a really rough mix for the burgundy um, on the beret. Following that, I put the base coat for the flesh tones on his face. And I did this with an airbrush just right over the black, and you gotta let that dry. And once it's set up, I put the whites into his eyes, so to speak. Now this isn't white, it's a mix of white and sea gray, at 20 white to one part gray. Eyes aren't actually white, ever. Now as you can see here, I have my mad scientist glasses on, that's what the kids call them. Um, because our next step is painting the irises and pupils. Now this may take several attempts to do, so have some patience. This was my first attempt and the eyes at the end of this video are not the same. Following that, I added both the dark shades and the highlights to his face, and we'll touch the face with some washes at the very end uh, just to detail it up. Now here we can see the hair is painted uh, brown, and I could have used an even lighter shade of brown or tan to set in even more depth, but honestly, I forgot. Now, the single strokes over the casted hairline at the bottom there, they add realism, but that squarish one on the left of the screen, that will be removed in the final detailing. I painted the camel front and back of the jacket. It's not period for World War II, I know, but this is the kind that I know how to do, and I was too lazy, and I didn't feel like learning a new one that I hadn't practiced. That's honesty for you. Here we see the shirt and tie have been painted, the collar and tie have been painted just inside, and the binocular straps and um, web gear have been started, okay? Uh, I used different tones to finish the web gear off. Here you see it finished with uh, kind of a brass buckle. After some detailing and a couple washes, here is our finished model bust. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the video today. I had a lot of fun building these little busts, and I'm, you know, really looking forward to doing the other two. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, and if you don't want to miss any new videos, hit the notification bell too, okay? That'll do it for today. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Jay, and as always, don't forget to challenge yourself.